Introduction to ASP.NET Web Forms Applications. This video lecture will introduce you to ASP.NET Web Forms Applications and walk you through setting up a new project in Visual Studio. ASP.NET is a server-side framework for web applications development. ASP.NET Web Forms are event-driven pages with server code, server controls, and server events. ASP.NET Web Forms applications utilize master templates, which are a centralized file where you can manage the header, footer, and body of your site all in one place. Every active server page you create is rendered within this master template through a single content placeholder tag. ASP.NET Web Forms active server pages utilize a code behind approach that provides a clean break of the presentation markup from the page logic. The presentation code is in the ASPX page and the code behind is in, in an ASPX.CS or ASPX.VB file, depending on your code behind language of choice, C Sharp or Visual Basic. ASP.NET Web Forms also feature controls which are objects on the ASP.NET pages that render HTML to the browser when the page is requested. These controls are named things like text box or button or drop down list and can be wired up to an event in the code behind. These controls are rendered to the browser as HTML elements such as input so they can also interact with the client-side code, such as CSS and JavaScript. You can also create your own reusable controls that can be used on multiple pages called user controls. For example, perhaps you have a newsletter sign-up widget and you place it on five different content pages. If you create this widget as a user control, then if you ever need to change the look or functionality of the widget, you can do so all in one place without having to go change every single file that uses it. Let's take a look at how we can create an ASP.NET Web Forms project in Visual Studio. I am using Visual Studio Express 2013 for web, which is absolutely free to download and use. So here I am in Visual Studio. I'm going to go File, New Project. I am going to select ASP.NET Web Application, and I am in Visual C Sharp. Um, if you were keen on Visual Basic, you could also create a, an ASP.NET Web Application in Visual Basic. I'm going to go ahead and use C Sharp, ASP.NET Web Application, and I'm going to give it a name of my web application. Click OK. And I'm going to select Web Forms. So what this is doing is creating a project that comes pre-bundled with some features. And this is great for an example application because it comes right out of the box, um, set up with a master template and a couple of ASPX files. And it also has um, authentication built in so that you can log in and out of your web application. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to drag the Solution Explorer over so that we can take a better look at the file structure in this project. So this is my project's name, which is My Web Application. I am in the Solution Explorer in Visual Studio. And here we can see some structure. So we have account, app data, app start, content, fonts, models, and scripts. And we have some ASPX pages, some configuration, and we have a master template.
So let's first take a look at the master template. Let me drag the Solution Explorer back over there and let me zoom in so we can read it better. Now let me pin this, pin that. Okay, here we go. So like I said before, the master template is a centralized file where you can manage the header, footer, and body of the site all in one place. Every active server page is rendered within a single content placeholder tag, which is in this file. So here you can see the layout of the page. And here's the content placeholder tag. Now I said that every active server page is rendered through the content placeholder. Let's take a look at what an active server page or .aspx page looks like. So back to my solution explorer. Now this site came bundled with three ASPX pages about contact and default.aspx which is like uh, the index page or the default page for the site, the home page. So like I said before, the active server page uses a code behind approach to provide a clean break of the presentation markup from the page logic. In the .aspx page, we have presentation markup. The ASPX page will have a corresponding code behind, and this will have either an ASPX.CS extension or ASPX.BB extension, depending on whether you're using C Sharp or Visual Basic. I am using C Sharp, so my code behind has an ASPX.CS extension. So default.ASPX, default.aspx.cs. Another way to get to the code behind of an ASPX file is in the ASPX file, just right click and view code. So this is the code behind for default.aspx. ASP.NET features server controls, which can be wired up to events in the code behind. So let's add a basic server control, a button, and wire up an event. So I'm going to just come up here to the very top of the page, and I'm going to add an ASP button. I'm going to give it an ID of button redirect with a run at server which is required for every server control. And I'm going to add an on click event. And I'm going to click create new event, which will automatically create me a method in the code behind. And let's give it some text. And we'll call it redirect to content contact page. So now if I go to the code behind, you can see that it created me an event method. So in button redirect click, I am going to add some logic to redirect to the contact page. Response.redirect I believe that's the correct URL. Let's go ahead and test that out. So I'm clicking on, right clicking on my web application, which is the project name, and view, view and browser. So here we are, and this is the default page 
that is being rendered within the master template that contains this header and this footer. And you can see I added a button that said redirect to contact page. So I'm going to click that button. And as you can see, it called the response.redirect method and redirected me to contact. Back to the code. I have a button and it has an on-click event, which redirects me to contact. Now, let's take a look, heading back there, let's take a look at what this contact button looks like in the rendered HTML. I'm going to inspect the element. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Now you can see that it renders out as an input type submit, so it actually submits the form on the page that the entire page is wrapped around in the master template. So some quick review. ASP.NET Web Forms are event-driven pages with server code, server controls, and server events. ASP.NET Web Forms applications utilize master templates, which are a centralized file where you can manage the header, footer, and body of your site all in one place. ASP.NET Web Forms active server pages utilize a code behind approach that provides a clean break of the presentation markup from the page logic. In this video lecture, you were introduced to ASP.NET Web Forms applications. Thank you for listening.